And there we go. This time for real. That's the end of Act 1 of Rune Factory 4. So, uh, usually I put my final thoughts in the credit section here while I let these roll. I'm probably gonna start putting them on the second channel, you know, just to, like, make sure that these videos don't get too long. Yeah, uh, that was at least the Rune Factory Marathon portion of Rune Factory 4. Obviously, I still plan on doing the other acts. I'm gonna finish those for sure. It's definitely gonna be at a much slower pace. I'm not going to speed run it. So I can actually, you know, just play on normal. And you know, if I really can't do it, then I just grind a bit more. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Final thoughts. Uh, honestly, I don't, I, I don't remember too much about this game. I feel like the last time I played it, I mean, besides the fact that it opened up like a couple days ago, I think it was like back in 2020. So like, I, I know how the, I know how the story ended, which <clears throat> honestly, I wouldn't have minded if the story just ended with the main character. Actually, hmm, would I have minded? Because it's literally what everyone told her, or it's literally what she said not for him to do. It would have been a bit annoying, I guess. It was like, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway, sort of thing, I guess. But, um, other than that, uh, Rune Factory 4, pretty fun. Port, pretty cool. Honestly, I feel like the UI on the port is much better than, um, the... 3ds version i like i like how they managed to put it together in a way that didn't feel super crowded the map system is okay uh obviously when you port a 3ds game like this uh to the uh to the you know the main game or like uh, sorry to a console let alone one with just one screen available right <laughs> there's not really much you can do honestly i think they did it the the best they could i think it, they did it pretty well but uh yeah, since this isn't the ex exactly the end of the game, I'm not going to talk about my final thoughts like super much here because, you know, I haven't finished the game. In fact, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm far from beating the game. So that's just uh, part one, I guess, of the ending rant of Rune Factory 4. So I guess after this, I'm probably going <clears> to <throat> edit these down. I'll have to do the Rune Factory 3 finale first. Uh, I'm going to have to edit everything down. I'm going to have to set everything up. I'm not sure how I'm going to upload it. I'm probably going to upload like episode 1 of Rune Factory 4 and then Rune Factory 5. I don't know. We'll see. I might upload it earlier. This These last few days are probably going to be very, very busy. I'm going to cram everything into these last few days. After April, I'm going to bring a bunch of stuff back. I'm going to bring back Renegade Platinum. I'm going to bring back um, Pokemon. Uh, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus, uh, all the other series that I had to put aside for the Rune Factory Marathon, etc, etc. Metopia is coming back. Yeah, so that's the plan at least. Uh, I still plan on continuing this, but you know what? Even though I had the extension, I'm happy that I was able to do this much between the time that I started this marathon back in February of 2019 to now. I was able to, well, in some way, beat the fur the the four mainline titles to some completion extent act two is just post game smiley face nothing of value was lost we did it we beat the rune factory marathon in my eyes i'll see it as complete i i saw the end of some chapter at least for two and four uh, there's not really much to say it's just i mean besides thank you so much to everyone who has watched the marathon up to now it really means a lot it's been a passion project of mine as a new a new player to rune factory because i started playing late 2016 so um when rune factory 5 came out it's been like about two years since i've known rune factory i guess or since i've started playing rune factory but it's still a series that means a lot it's one of the coolest blends of farming sims and action rpg it's pretty cool but uh yeah the series is not going anywhere the rune factory marathon will still continue in its own post game of sorts <laughs> but uh yeah i think everyone who has who has joined from the ride whether you've been here from the beginning or you've joined from the future or from the other playthroughs like rune factory 2 well i mean rune factory was just one video but like <laughs> i'm going on a tangent here so just once again thank you guys so much it means a lot especially for like a series like this to you know reach an audience i am very grateful that's it. Alright, let's go back to the actual video game.